It's live, so something's gonna happen. From near and far, young and old, people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Loading Ready Live. Today on the show, we think of ideas and turn it into segment. We sit on chairs and discuss things as panel. Oh. <laughs> and we arrange some edibles and watch as B jeets the whole thing. Tall burgers, wide burgers. Eh, man, I don't care. Just make it three dimensional. All this and more on the Loading Ready Live, starting right now. Oh, hi. I thought we'd lock the door, but since you're here, this evening we thought as a special treat, it might be fun to look back and revisit some of our favorite segments of Loading Ready Lives gone by, such as ever popular and erstwhile panel segment, This or That, for which I have prepared a special This or That for us to enjoy this evening. So let's go and decide what is this or that, but first let's check in with Serge, who is still in Alberta. What? Back to you. Hi. Thanks, Serge. Appreciate that. Now, how you doing, Cameron? Good beer. Uh, well, I mean, I really like Four Winds. This is just called light. <laughs> and it is. It is. It's yeah, very it's light. very... It's not like lager. Morty. <laughs> <laughs> so, over the years on Loading Ready Live, we've done many iterations of this or that. And so today, it's very simple. All you have to tell me is, is this a this or that we've done or not? <laughs> ah. Does Desert Bus count? No. Oh, thank God. Okay. That, okay. Would, be, that would be problematic. <laughs> I don't even know all the ones we've done on Desert Bus because I only found out recently that other shifts were doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> I so. can confidently say I don't think I've ever done one. All right, good. Well, we've got that eliminated. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Desert Bus is off the table. So, <laughs> there it <Give> is. <laughs> there it is. No more beer for you. <laughs> I earned that. <laughs> After we're done the game show. And he only earned if you that get beer by drinking whiskey. Percent. Yeah. <laughs> really, really nice whiskey, by the way. I mean, it looked gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd offer you some, but it's, it's over mine. there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's start with our first one. League of Legends hero ability or magic card? Ooh. No. No. Y yes, I think so. Uh, I know we, I feel like we've done a League of Legends thing, which is why I want to say yes. If they said no, no, I'm just going to say yes, because I want to be different. I mean, playing the meta, uh, this just makes me think of Arcane and how, spoilers, for the two-year-old show Arcane, it ends with one of the characters doing their ultimate off-screen and managing to hit with it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how, in my experience, most league matches end. All right. Chat's pretty divided on this. This is not a this or that that Damn. we've done. This is one that I made up. All right. Uh, I think we have routinely opted not to do this or that's that have been submitted involving League of Legends abilities because uh, not enough of the people in this building uh, no League of Legends abilities. We did a League of Legends thing uh, for the great indoor games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where we did that. Dang it. All right. All right. Number two, Warframe weapon or Ikea product? Both. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. That's I was waiting until the second one to pull out the both joke. <laughs> Literally impossible. Yeah. Uh, we Warframe, did it, but it was a secret. Warframe weapon, or I, I'm going to say no. I have no memory of that. 
I remember guns, but was it, but was it like a Call of Duty gun? There was thing? definitely a Destiny gun one. Destiny gun. That one makes like sense. Like we've done Destiny gun ones. That's, I don't know if we've correct. done Warframe ones because again, few of us Warframe. I don't think does anybody Warframe in here. Obviously, many many millions that. of people Warframe. We haven't hidden the chat for this partly because it's a little obscured by cameras, but I, also because I don't trust. Frankly, them. yeah, you're also you know you're also not sure. Yeah. So I'll tell you. This is one that we've Dang done. It. This was on episode 31 from December 2017. <laughs> yeah. 2017. 2017. Literally oh, the before saying. times. Yeah. yeah. Next. Real movie or fake movie from huh. a real movie? That, we definitely that sounds like did so that much one. fun. We, yeah. we should Absolutely if we haven't. We did that one. <laughs> we have. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was pretty solid what was on that the one. soap opera from Twin Peaks? That was episode 52 from May 2019. Uh, Still I don't remember. Times. Uh, next, wrestling move or Mega Man boss power? Sounds like one we should have, but I'm going to say no. I, yeah, I, this no. sounds like something we've done, but yeah, I agree with everyone. What's his name over here? And saying no. <laughs> I love chats like, no, but should? Yeah, it, <laughs> that, it, it sounds like one we should if we haven't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I agree. Someone write it. We haven't done that one hey, yet. There we oh, go. Yeah. yeah. Also, I am tanked. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> Probably well, in the last hour minutes and ten ago? minutes. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoops. Um, my list had back. a duplicate. Oh, I wonder if Paul's list dog. also has a duplicate. Let's find out together. Uh, yes, that was the duplicate. Sorry. That's Next one. Three points, Graham. Oh, Come on. We haven't done that one. That, okay. Uh, that... Bridge terminology or sci-fi fantasy swear. This is an amazing concept, and I want to say that we have done this, but not yet. Uh, Wait, we have done this, but not yet? What does that this. mean? We have yet to do this, but it's... No, only... like, yeah, I think We've we done have this done in the this. Future? How much of that whiskey that? did you have? <laughs> like, three fingers? Uh, How if, many fingers did you... This is one, I, if we've done this, I, um, have, I don't remember it, but... Um, I want to say that we actually have done this. I have vague memories of doing this in uh, the previous moon base. I remember swears, but I don't remember bridge terms. And yeah. I, so here's the thing. It's not James has been James has been using the before times. This is not the before times. This is a real one from March 2022. We did this one, and I don't remember if it's terminology from the game bridge or structural engineering terms. Really, no, I want to say structural engineering. I think terms. it's that one because you know, <laughs> engineers have words like. Sheer. Yeah. I right? mean, we were and sci fi terms. It was structures. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. I mean, we were back in the moon base by March 2022, right? Yeah. Is that what you said? 2022? Yep. So last year. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I have no memory. All right. Next. Architecture style or erotic novel? Uh oh. <laughs> I want to say yes. Uh, I want to say yes. We have done this one. I, I, no. I would make the Baroque joke. But honestly, I'm here for brutalism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 And yes. Yeah. N we no. have not done this. No, one, we have we not. Should. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Art Nouveau, Queen Anne. These are all things that could totally work in, yeah. this, in this quiz. You want to give someone Le Corbusier? <laughs> uh, that movie's called The Favorite. Ah, uh, okay. Not, yeah, not a book. And. Wrestling move or magic card? Absolutely, we yes. have. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Surely we have. We must have. Is this, this not is another like dupe? Did, wasn't this already things. in the list previously? <laughs> you know, that was this year, and that was not this year. This was... The first one we ever did. The first one we ever did. Weirdly, it took us episode 36 to get there. Yeah. March 2018. Wait, no, that doesn't make I sense, because another one was from 2017. Uh, no, wrestling mover... Yeah, re no, sorry. December 2017, episode 31, Wrestling Mover Magic Card. Okay. The Warframe weapon was from March 2018. My bad. Okay. Yeah, 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 I got yeah, that yeah. backwards earlier. Okay. I, so. I feel like not only have we done this one, but we've also done, like, both half, like, Wrestling Move and something else, and Magic Card and something else. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. We, we've done both half of, of this as well. Yeah. yeah. I think I, my personal favorite one was uh, Star Trek, the original series episode, or Christian Rock Band. That was a very good one. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, Barbershop Quartet or Sports Team sticks out to me, but also does uh, Crap Shot, Seinfeld Episode, or Mathematical yes, Theorem. that was good. That was good. <laughs> the trifecta. 
Anyway, another thing that we always love to do here on Loading Ready Live is enjoy the most recent iteration of the bi-weekly highlight reel. So uh, let's do that. By the way, this is not the most recent highlight reel we've put together is technically the entire year in review. That's an hour long, so we're not watching that one right now. Uh, that also went up on YouTube earlier today at time of broadcast, and we pulled back because there was a video whoopsie that I wasn't able to correct, so that's going back up soon. But enjoy the most weekly, by, the most recent bi-weekly reel, and we'll come back with more live in a moment. Aren't you set slap me? No. We're going to do high, low, pickle, low, pickle, low, high, low. You don't know this? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, put your hands like this. Yeah. My name is high, low, pickle, low, pickle, low, high, low, high, low, pickle, low, pickle, low, yo. You can't argue that wasn't entertaining. It's gonna be on the highlight reel. And a Merry Glurpsmas to all who observe. We can access things between the bucket. <laughs> Switch between worlds. Use this. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the bucket. Let me go. Smithers, get in. <laughs> uh, watch out for <laughs> the uh, quicksand oh. here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just like generally watch out. Oh, no, he landed! No! <laughs> Can I have to ask those birds to back up off the mic a bit? See so you <laughs> This is why I keep trying to tell you to heal. And we just fell off the edge. Haha. -ha. Can't get through me. Get through this impenetrable wall. Haha. <laughs> yeah, try it. Try to hit me. Do it, you coward. Ow, he figured it out. Ow, he figured it out. Oh, oh, yeah, there shit. we go, there oh, we go, shit. there we go, there we go. The cyclone. What the oh, hell is man. this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my Naruto a little, a little bit of showboating in this game. Let's go. No. Oh, no. I like your kind of pointing to no, where you went. No, you're slipping back. No. 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 All your progress. Oh, no. oh like all of it. Oh, okay, no. well. No. They are another Mage the Awakening character, and their whole concept is basically they're, they use magic to do therapy to people. Uh, and they're very good at it. Do therapy to people. Yes. <laughs> Look, sometimes in the world of darkness, you encounter people who really need therapy and will fight you off from giving it to them with like a knife or a chainsaw. You know, they have to want to change. <laughs> yeah, I can help with that. Read this after reading the existential note. That's that was a chocobo. That was a chimboboko. Chobocobo. Chobacobo. High low pickle low pickle low high low high. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, they, they, they just have they, a feet of resistance. It must be feet of resistance. Yeah, they fine. snap that off so quickly. It's fine. So we're just gonna... Uh, yeah, get him for four. Yeah. yeah, yeah, get in there. Show me your feet! <laughs> or don't. His last ounce of strength is spent. <laughs> okay. I know he was dying. That seemed really dramatic and, and a really weird drag. Wait. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. All right. All right. I'll All right. take it. This is a difficult one. Wow. I'm doing much better now <laughs> that I'm not controlling it. <laughs> what the Wow. Wow. <laughs> wait a minute. What? Wait, wait no. a minute. <laughs> no. What the fuck is no. this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Okay, no, I can't keep watching that. <laughs> you, get, you get that beach? Yeah. Don't, don't try, sorry. Yeah. Can't win, don't try. You got it. I think before, as we leave, like, it'll be, like, the last thing that we want to grab. And then, like, we'll get out of there and go that <laughs> Why did they put the same option twice? No! Thank you, Jordan! Yeah. All right. All right. Dude. You know what you've done. <laughs> Time to mesh. This Where's the briefcase, for... Rodriguez? This is for Harambe. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh. Hey. And then the kids woke me up at 6.30, which is not even that bad, but I was already tired, so it felt like three. Mm -hmm. And they just had to get me up to settle their dispute over who gets to play with the couch cushions. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas clops. Christmas clops. <laughs> I thought you were imaginary. I thought my mother told me about you so I'd clean my room and eat my peas. <laughs> no. Many of our stories are derived from reality, but <laughs> simplified in a way your puny mind can comprehend. You should still eat your peas, though. Yeah, yeah. Peas are good for you. <laughs> the peas represent my one scary giant eye. <laughs> Did anyone else try to imagine Rocky Balboa in a scene talking about how many times he had won, but like he's mad about it because like the scene is about something else? No, I've so never me? seen yeah. a single Rocky movie. I no, me, me, no, me neither. But... But... I, I, I oh, recommend yeah. Kathleen you start with Creed and go from there. They're actually quite good. I've heard yeah. Creed's good. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> it's in the same can, universe. Could we get that uh, as a as a sound clip? Just Kathleen saying, I heard Creed's good. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard yeah. Creed's good. Oh, you know, we could probably use this to actually start fires. Right? If we if, if we were I don't mean that in like a bad way. I mean that in the like we keep finding fire just that we could have probably lit. That would have been good for us. So you do have a recognition of right and wrong when it comes to fire. <laughs> of course I do. Okay, good. Sometimes I just ignore it. <laughs> Who ever thought that E.T. looked cute? Mm. I'm just wondering. No, that wasn't it. Picture you guys. The 80s were a weird, weird time. You don't say. Yeah. E.T. is just shaved elf. Oh, that! But elf is mm. Ah, a mind palace. Oh, yes. Mind place. My, oh, my bad. The mind palace technique. <laughs> to sift through clues and work the case. <laughs> Building the mind place again for each case. Palace is too fancy. As a model in my head. Yeah, please. I'm a millennial. Palace. I. I have. I, a, I've got, it's a rental. <laughs> yeah, I have a mind Airbnb. And then I have a secret twelfth model uh, <laughs> that I made this week. I don't really know why, uh, but it's Clippy with a gun. Okay. When you have all seven stars, oh, climb the creator blade and touch the dawn star to the fusion seed at the center of the Chronos clock in order to activate the Mobius Helix failsafe procedure. You have to collect all the other fucking stars? Oh. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Nouns! Kathleen. I'm over instant coffee. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My name is High Low Pickle Low Pickle Low High Low. <laughs> you got me this. I was doing it right! I know, but you, you started to go high with both your hands. That's because I have big gorilla hands. I can't control myself. That's no excuse when you're against me. I also <laughs> have big gorilla hands. Boy, do I like My Little Pony. Brownie. Peach. There you go. Ah, wow. Whoop. Wow. <clears throat> uh, it is a seafaring vessel that you put uh, um, stuff that goes on poutine in. Ship of curds? Mm, no. <laughs> goes, uh, no. No, no, no. The other thing that goes on poutine. <laughs> it comes what? Gravy? Gravy boat. There you go. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ben. Yo. We need you to come out. Pan and Ace 
pace. Well, how about you pick up the pace? I like how exciting that one feels. I feel mm -hmm. like the late, the newer trivia games in Jackbox Party Packs have really sort of knocked it out of the park in terms of like, don't just answer questions. It's it's like the people's elbow. It's like uh, <laughs> trivia with theatrics, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what we all need too. Trivia God, I love that, that description. Uh, <laughs> can you smell what the stream is thinking? Well, okay. Uh, the rats are angry. I didn't realize Adam's chat was down here. Well, all right then. I should have. Basement dwellers. Make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is probably what I'm going to do on my three minute break. So, uh, wow, can I have a PB and &E sandwich too? Time, I will make you one and wow. you can come get it. Wait, oh I'm no, a, yeah, I don't really know how to, how to, like, you want me to ship you this peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, will you eat it? Because it's probably going to take a few days to get there. Oh, okay, what if I'm not hungry when it gets here save it i mean it's already been in a box for four days what's a few hours gonna do <laughs> you know what? that's a good call yeah exactly uh all right friends I won't make chip one to me okay that's good because i you know i love you you know but i don't air love you i like ground shipping love you so that's oh, probably ooh, wise ooh. it's like four to six weeks shipping can't win don't try you got it <laughs> just get on the treadmill and let it take its course and so he did I mean, it's working out tremendously. Yep. All right, so yeah. Let go and let Glurp. <laughs> let Glurpo uh, take the wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. Luke, yeah, your controller is turned off. What's going on? <laughs> this is doing great, Beach. This is this is Buddhist Glurp. You're <laughs> 24. Yeah, I don't. I I stopped. Like I jumped in the thing and went nope. <laughs> <laughs> so have at her, folks. Yep. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> I, oh, wait. <laughs> it's amazing. They practiced that so many times. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. I fell in a secret hole. Oh. Yeah, that's good. No, I no it's fine. Logo. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh my god, did you oh. see the slowdown there yeah, on that exact dude. move? It looked like Luke's head was gonna flop off. Nice one, Gaetanic. <laughs> dude, he, he looked like he was gonna snap in half. Holy Jesus, I've never seen that. Is that it? Time to blow up the ring. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that, that went. Wow, oh we. Hey Adam, 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 Adam! I'm about to, uh, I'm about to give you my peak comedy. Yeah. My the, the greatest joke we've ever told on Loading Ready Run. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like, I like the part where it sounded like you farted. Yeah. Enjoy this. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah! Oh <laughs> shit! Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alternatively, there's also the situation where you, you you work for a company that does give you your own personal equipment, and that you have full license, in my opinion, to completely trash the fuck out of. Just yeah, take take every dollar of your company's money that you can. You owe it. So you can do yourself. that over at patreoncom slash <laughs> and You can uh, can give some dollar reduce over there, where then Ian and I will. Take advantage of that for our own personal uses. Yes, we, uh, really? Can we? Uh, I mean, I know during- Oh sweet, this just comes off, Heather. I'm good, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that makes the, just the most sound. I know, is it like, it's the sound of magnets clicking on top of your head, inside your head. Doink. Ben, help me out on this. Um, I'm gonna say ride the pipe thing, and then can you drop the metal pipe on the ground? I don't have control over it. <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> It's, I think the balance is fine. I think we're just, we've just we just gotten unlucky a couple times. Uh, put the seed stones in the deck. In, instead of what? Just put them in. Now leave it alone. 41, baby. <laughs> you know this hurts me. This is how I always roll. this way <laughs> welcome to chill point the show where we talk about the week's video game news and occasionally complain about our co-workers <laughs> i'm pretty sure every stream does that though like that's i don't true. think that's special to us that's true i, I i'm especially i don't watch every other stream i don't have that kind of time between the others like getting those pods online but i i think i think there's always like a little bit of uh, a thing of like Hmm, I see so-and-so did this today. I mean, especially if you consider chat to be a co-worker. I do not. <laughs> Hi, Beach. Hi, James. I made some cool art. Where should we hang it? On the fridge. <laughs> Where I hang all my kids' art. It's a little big for the fridge. A little big for the fridge, Beach. It's really nice. Santa Claus is watching. <laughs> <laughs> And it also just means you won't get, oh my God, Nelson, that was a fucking militant whiff punish. Holy shit. Please tell me you did that on purpose. Yep, yep. Oh, yep. that was so Did you, see me, so did you good. see me throwing out heavies? So yeah. Now I'm dead. I'm uh, you're not dying for it, you're fine. Yes. <laughs> oh, where's the shovel? Where's the shovel? I don't know where it is. It's gone. Ben, oh, there it is. Come on, man! <laughs> Come on. Me want play! Do you want to switch teams up? No! Okay! okay. <laughs> we're just getting we're just getting drift compatible. Okay, how about how about a bigger deck though? How's that sound? Oh, how big? Or do you think 30 cards was good? Me want bigger deck! deck. Alright, good. There we Seven go. Me shots. buy pump, me buy pills, <laughs> me still not have bigger deck. <laughs> oh. Alright. Mm. Me hire a general contractor. <laughs> You know it's good narration when between lines of dialogue you hear the narrator go <laughs> <laughs> Like not an intake of breath, but a, a sigh. an inward sigh. There yep, yeah, 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 yeah,
All right. I played this game in uh, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I remember the, the winning play is to not touch my controller. <laughs> After you, sir. Oh, all right, I'll pick the center. All right, now that you've picked that one, I'm going to switch which one I was going to pick. Oh, that's well, how it works, Hall. right? Oh. Yeah, there's a Monty Hall problem. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, reveal. No! Yes! <laughs> James is so thrilled that Ben must go to the shame hole. Uh, the shame hole. <laughs> the punishment ninja is awaiting you over on camera seven. Oh, hi. <laughs> Konnichiwa. It's, it's been a long time. It has. It's good to see you again, good buddy. Good to see you as well. Yeah, yeah, how you been? Well. Oh, you've been like singing with Tom Waits, I guess, eh? He's a Big inspiration. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, Punishment Ninja, what is our first throwback Shame Inferno punishment of the day? Peach or barf. Oh, yes! Peach or barf! Peach or barf! Peach or barf! Peach or barf! Peach or barf. Uh, oh, man. This Juice. is the Jelly Belly Bean Boozled. And Tabete. How many do I have to pick? Just one. Oh, you could get away with this. He's not going to get away with this. He you can't can do it get then. away with this. Yeah. We have this? no way of testing if these were peach or barf. We just know it's one of those. This one has the least amount of little fleckies on it, so uh -huh. I'm going to assume that means uh -huh. it's good. Well, yeah. even the heart of the beans. Eat. Itadakimasu. Eat the takimasu. <laughs> Eat the takimasu. <laughs> peach! Oh! <laughs> well done. All right. It's a shame miracle. It is. Man, I tell you, opening that bag, uh, the the bouquet of the entire bag of Bean Boozled was one of the most horrific things I've ever the cup, smelled. The cup did not smell good. No, the cup is... Uh, they. That's one of the most impressive things about the Bean Boozled things is how much they nailed the negative flavors. Yeah. And so it's like, haha, oh yeah, okay, this one tastes like barf. Is it supposed to make no, your tongue look a little numb? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Peach or Novocaine! Peach sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's say it is right. <laughs> Round two, thumbs pick up. Uh, center. Oh, they've already been, they're already oh. moved around. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sure. Oh, you can have center. No, right? no, no, you, you, want, you take it. I just closed ben my eyes. First, he sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let okay. Ben take first first pick, because he's, <laughs> he's just come back from the shame hole. Wouldn't this be hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh. Okay. okay. All right, everyone else pick there. The furthest away from me can't be, can't be evil. <laughs> right, you keep your enemies closer. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, reveal. Oh, yeah! yeah. To the shame hole with you. Welcome, Yoroshiku. Yeah. Uh, just what, do it, man. What's just, happening just now? Do just do it. Just do it. Dusty Road. Oh, oh no, Dusty Road. Okay, well that was a little different. Dusty Road was, uh, I don't remember which episode this was from, but it's uh, its some some kind of mix, some kind of powder uh, mixed in water. Isn't the episode Dusty Road? I think so. He's at. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> it's still so chunky. <laughs> Eat the Dakimas. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nanoaji, <laughs> <laughs> what flavor? Oh, I have to know what this is. Oh, peach or bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do know what this is. What is it? Is This is either Montreal steak spice, because it's really peppery. Or it's a, it's like a roasted red pepper, um, but it's got pepper in it. So, oh, it, oh. it got all the flex. Can you mix mm. it again so I can give another go? <laughs> <laughs> Up the torque on the spoon. No, Punishment gonna, Ninja, help. My spoon needs more torque. It's some sort of clubhouse steak spice. Yeah. Oh. Guacamole this. <laughs> oh. Powdered it's guacamole? It's a guac mix? Why is it brown? I've seen. 
Well, it's because of this, the avocado has gone off. Uh, well, <laughs> over right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Beej, you get first pick. I, I get, pick I get the taste of avocado, though. I'll pick here. All right. I'm just going to keep picking the one for this trophy. Yeah. That's the safe zone. Yeah, and you haven't gotten nailed yet. <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal! Oh! <laughs> Back to the game <laughs> hole! So. As you put it, us. Welcome back. I'm glad that you missed me. Yes. <laughs> What's happening now, Punishment Ninja? <sighs> Hell's Karate. Knife hand of woe. Oh, my oh God. good. It's Beej's favorite. I love this one. Hell's Karate Knife Hand of Woe. Right. That means Beej needs a blindfold. Try to my thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Have all these been the names of the live episodes almost? Uh, I don't think so. No? No. Your night is got, can uh, you see? No. I even opened my eyes and I can't see. Yokata. Wow. So, Comfort. you'll have to help him aim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Like that. Hey. Straight. You, you want to take maybe Please. a squat position so you know you're going to not hit the table instead? And forward, just a bit. <laughs> He's off. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> that was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more step forward. Really? Perfection. Which one of you doesn't have depth perception? <laughs> <laughs> if I go into the table full tilt, I'm going to regret every moment of this. All right, here we Bozo. go. It's good. Yep. All right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> do I have to? You all right? Guess what it is? Yeah, what do you think? Is it an ice cream cake? No. No. It's a, why is it so cold? <laughs> it's so cold. You got dessert, right? Let's <laughs> go this. A la mode. <laughs> hey. 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 All right. Hey, Beach. <laughs> yeah, I guess I get. It's the final round. Again. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, going straight across. Always. Corey's the, in. It's the safety zone. Nelson's oh. in. All right. Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, Nelson. <laughs> Horrible, happy James face. <laughs> Join the punishment ninja in the shame hole. Goes in the shame hole. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> punishment ninja. Yoroshiku. I have come for my shame. Chigao. It's wrong. Something different. Okay. Something different. Showdown. Oh. I'll go sit. <laughs> Hi, Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. <laughs> Special prize for you here in the fourth circle of hell. <laughs> Very well. Ooh, that's right, because you got the best punishment, which means you get to experience one of the only Loading Ready Live segments that includes theoretical prizes. That's right, it's your very own showcase you showdown. Ooh. And if you've never seen Showcase Showdown before, it's just like normal uh, showdown, but, oh, there we go, perfect. It's like, it's just like a normal Showcase Showdown. Um, the price has to be correct, and you don't even have to compete to get steady one. All you gotta do is you gotta tell me how much you think this incredibly unique selection of prizes <laughs> is worth, and then maybe, I don't know, go under a bit a, a bit under just to be safe okay. because obviously you want to win. It's really important. All right. All right. And like all the best showcase showdowns, pack your bags because we are ready to go to fabulous, scenic, beautiful, and actually not that maligned Vancouver Island. <laughs> hey, I'm familiar with that place. One million dollars. Oh, wait. Well, hold on. We're not buying property here. We're going to like... <laughs> 
But uh, so Vancouver Island, as you know, you can see from the screen, uh, it's nestled in what some people might conceivably somewhere call the groin of British Columbia. <laughs> But Vancouver Island is also full of beautiful, natural, amazing beauty. So that's why we're going to start off our trip entirely or, uh, by staying away from it in Miniature World. Okay. Ooh. All right. Have you, have you been to Miniature World? I have no? never been to Miniature <gasps> World. You've never been to Miniature World? This is so good. Okay, so this beloved tourist attraction, I've got some pictures of the miniatures here, has been operating out of the Empress Hotel's basement since the United Kingdom switched to decimal currency. Wow. And we all know that was 1971, so that's 53 years. It features 85 tiny scenes that were all handmade with an eye for detail that would make even the most dedicated war ham sweat. Like, it's, a, <laughs> it's honestly pretty cool. Like, look at that. Yeah. Uh, you, anyhow, the, the, what I really like about Miniature World is that you can take a real leisurely stroll uh, and uh, just take in a staggeringly large collection of tiny things. Like you get to see a miniature circus, a miniature Camelot, a miniature train, and enough f World War II stuff to make a, even the most dadly Warham sweat. Wow, it's so tiny. I wrote weeks ago and I don't remember what I wrote, so this is amazing. You're doing great. The, Look, best, the best thing about Miniature World though, because you haven't been, and this is why I know you haven't been, because you don't love it, there's no gift shop. You look at the last oh, thing and it just that. dumps you right out onto the street. Incredible. It's, it's amazing. Right into the road. Yeah, yeah. They you don't try to sell you miniature versions of... Absolutely not. You spend an hour in a really dark room looking really closely at tiny things and then you just exit directly into the daylight of the street blinking and confused. <laughs> and how large <laughs> everything is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's honestly, I would say it's both priceless in the enjoyment and the more practical sense if you don't have to pay anything. After you yeah. leave, there's no added tax. Anyhow, just visits the optometrist later. Yeah. So, uh, the first thing this showcase includes is adult admission for two. Okay. Because I'm going to go with you to Miniature World. Wow. Uh, and now that you've spent some time looking at very, very small things, what do you say to looking at very, very large things, such as the world's two largest burrows, baby? <laughs> Both of which, both, both the world's largest burl and the world's second largest burl are oh. located on Vancouver Island oh. in Port McNeil. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so the largest burl in the world is the 70,000 pound Ronning burl. <laughs> and it was cut off a Sitka spruce in 2005. And that is the larger and unfortunately uh, due to uh, Due to um, a little issue, the more charred of the two largest burls. Okay, okay. so a burl is cut off a tree, not out of a person. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. It's, but it's the same deal, but for trees. It's a tree tumor. Yeah, but, and they're okay. just enormous. So anyhow, uh, while I was researching this, I realized that there had been a, uh, a freak accident this summer, or this spring, oh, wow. that burned the world's largest uh, Burl, and because it's very Canadian, I wrote here it was a freak dart. It was a freak dart extinguishing accident. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> someone in a logging town didn't quite extinguish a cigarette and lit the world's largest burl on fire. Oh my God. The way to go. nail. <laughs> <laughs> but I will have you know that the world's second largest burl, which is pictured here, is intact, and that's just on a that's a on a highway out of town. But so I did, I was really worried about the world's largest burl when I, uh, when I put this uh, showcase together. So I actually had to call the tourist information booth <laughs> to find out if you could still go look at it. And uh, anyhow, I, I got a really good, uh, I got a lot of information. So Me much information. No, like the guy was very talkative. He was so excited that we might come to Port McNeil. Oh. And I had to know the heart to tell him what this segment was all about. So I was like, yeah, we're just looking for interesting things online. Anyhow, you could just go up to the parking lot. You can look at the burl, and they're working on a new enclosure. <laughs> keep it contained. <laughs> right. No, well, you need to keep it no. safe from future cigarette butts. No, this, is, this is what it looks like right now. This is just it. The gazebo was totaled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not the gazebo. Anyhow, how are we going to get out, though, all the way out to Port McNeil? 
uh, to look at the world's largest burl. And spoilers for calculating your um, the the value of your showcase. That's yeah. free to look at that. Okay. Uh, I know Makes sense. value. Uh, so, but we got to get there. So I was thinking that uh, that we could drive. And luckily, okay. I own uh, a 2009 <laughs> Nissan Versa. And what? <laughs> I think I would list as fair, condition, or moderately played. I'm not buying your car, Captain. <laughs> moderately played? Yeah. No, no, no. Somewhere uh, no, on no, the no. edges. I just calculated, I calculated out the fuel economy oh, on wow. my okay. car right. based on the kilometers, which is 460 kilometers. So it's 460 kilometers in a nice. Nissan Versa. Okay. So you just tell me. Uh, how much what, gas is going to cost? How much gas? Yeah, how much do you think gas is going to cost? You know what? I, okay. But I did estimate on the high side. Okay. So, because uh, I did this like seriously three weeks ago. Uh, anyhow, so we're gonna drive out there, and uh, what's this next? Oh wait, what's this next picture? Yes, More there's burr. the second largest burl. Oh, that's the fire. on fire. That's it. That's it burning. <gasps> oh my Ooh. god. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, tourist information booth that was so helpful, by the way. Um, <laughs> Why doesn't it have a burl? Why isn't it on fire? Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, big ups to Duncan from the tourist information booth, who is so helpful because he also told me if we're coming out all the way, you can see some really cool stuff that's not listed anywhere. It's we can go to the abandoned Suquash mine site. Wow. So anyhow, there's an abandoned mine site out there. Uh, uh, now, he, he gave me what I could describe as absolutely extensive directions for this, Nelson. Like, he would just, it took forever to get the specific directions. You didn't know that you were Duncan's entertainment for the day. No, yeah. Duncan and I worked hard on this. Anyhow, but Suquash is the home of Vancouver Island's first coal mine. Suquash in, uh, and I'm going to really destroy the First Nations name here, and I apologize. I think it's Quoctil, means the place where the seal meat is cut into strips. Okay. And then my, the mine was discovered and actually run by the indigenous people here until they had dug out all the surface coal. And then in 1849, the Hudson's Bay Company reopened the mine, running it until they discovered a better coal mine in Nanaimo three years later. Uh, and then in 1908, Coastal Pacific Coastal Mines reopened the site uh, and uh, they, uh, they constructed a small village to accommodate the miners and their families until the mine was shut down for the last time in 1914. So what you can see there is the ruins of the mine site that you can go check out. So it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you get all kinds of tetanus over there. Oh, yeah. So much tetanus. Anyhow. I wonder what happened to the unemployed miners in 1914. Mm. Mm. I, I, hopefully they just went somewhere more exciting. <laughs> Vimy Ridge is much more exciting. Briefly. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See the world. Anyhow, anyhow. All right, so obviously, you know, I think we can all calculate the value of going to see some dirty old machines in the woods, but... <laughs> I know what you're saying, Kathleen. God, haven't we had enough quaint local history? And haven't you been on a really big, long, complicated spiel to explain something yet? And the answer to the, both of those questions is surprisingly no. Um, because we've got some very weird local history. It's so weird it's from a parallel universe because it is none other, other than the plaque for the Hornby Unithotherium. It's that little tiny thing on the right of the Wheelhouse Restaurant. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So this is going to take so long to explain. This is why it took me like two days to research this. At least I'm not eating avocado powder. Okay, so this is a plaque to the Hornby Unithotherium. And maybe some people in chat will know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, yeah, does that make any sense to you? What? No. Okay. <sighs> so this plaque was installed in 2005 as part of the... Chimeric Theer art and storytelling project that is about the history of a parallel world that intersects our own and plays out through the installation of real plaques and markers in, in, in the world. And there's been over 140 of them installed to date. This is just one of them. So according to the plaque on Hornby Island, Hornby Island is the only home. Uh, do I have this? There we are. That's, that's the entry on the, the Chimeric Theer website. But uh, the, the Hornby Unithotherium is a strange rhinoceros-like herbivore distinguished by its array of horns, knobs, and tusks that protrude from its head in all directions. And there's more, but like, there's not that much more. And if we go look at the plaque, I think it's important that we read it for ourselves. But We're stretching the bounds of the word important, but yes. <laughs> but let's, let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just buckle up! <laughs> 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 
So the first uh, Chimeric Sphere marker was installed in Georgia, the U.S., in 2003, and 20 years later, this project is still going. And according to the website's blog, Eames Dimitrios, the founder of the project, who prefers to be called the geographer at large, spent the summer... <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> but he spent his summer in Nepal. Uh, setting up huge bronze markers there. That's this year that he was going and doing to that. And now I know what you're thinking, Nelson. I know you're thinking, gosh, Kathleen, it's time for you to talk more. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and setting up this huge world-spanning art project that involves getting permission for and then commissioning and building enormous bronze monuments and plaques everywhere sounds really expensive to undertake. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it does, which is why there is an official Chimeric Steer store. <laughs> so <laughs> you can buy some merch to help support that. Uh, there's the Travel Guide Volume 6, which was the first released, and then Number 4, which was the second one released, <laughs> and then some utterly baffling pieces of official merchandise. Uh, and, uh, and you know what? It's really interesting that... Uh, there was a successful Indiegogo campaign in 2016 to fund the release of a book all about Chimeric Sphere and its story so far. And you're thinking, I don't know, sure you raised $45,000, but uh, I'm not sure a few self-published books are going to finance all this. And why do you keep referring to this guy by his full name? Part of which sounds awfully familiar to me. Yes, you're right. Because Eames Demetrios is the grandson Hold up, I got a picture of him here. Eve Demetrios is the grandson of famed designers Charles and Ray Eames, oh who's God. What? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, his work you are undoubtedly familiar with because a bunch of people in our office just freaked out and you're probably sitting on a knockoff piece of furniture that they designed I, right now! I can't even afford the knockoffs! <laughs> Anyhow, and finally, I'm sure you grumble, what does all this have to do with uh, the price of this showcase? Well, I mean, not all that much, really. I just thought it was really interesting. <laughs> and, you know, after I'd spent an entire day learning all about Eames Demetrios and all his hobbies, which include traveling around the world, commissioning baffling markers that confuse people. <laughs> so is this what happens to clone Ukbar Orbis Tercius when you get a Canada Council for the Arts grant? I think so. <laughs> I, think, I think if this counts as art, what we're, sh we're, we're doing should count too. Uh, there's no recent pictures of this plaque, by the way, but here's one from like when they put it up, and those people seem pretty jazzed. <laughs> uh, it could be you. Yeah, that, that, that could be us in front of that plaque, Nelson. And there's, a, there's the Wikipedia article on Charles and Ray Eames, in case you don't believe me. But uh, anyhow, how are we going to determine the price of looking at this stupid thing? Well, uh, nothing. But <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a trip to, Hor to, to Hornby Island by ferry, which is honestly actually rather inconveniently, uh, it's, uh, it's two ferries. Yep. Uh, so you've got to go to Denman Island first, and right. then you go to Hornby Island. Drive across. Uh, you don't even get to go, go to Salt Spring? From the way. We're gonna, That's we're way gonna, further south. We're going to come back via Port McNeil. And not only that, we also get the travel book. So it's, 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 it's the return trip ferry and one of those books. So you can see the Burls twice. Wow. Well, the Burls are north of this. So you go to the Burls. You can, I've, I've plotted this all out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Kathleen's got an itinerary. Yeah, the ride's but only half as long as this bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, to say, we've got to pay for the ferry round trip and pay for the book? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ferry round trip and, and the book. And there's two of us in the car and we have to two take adults. the car. Two adults and one car return. Okay. V uh, Vancouver Island to Denman and then Denman to Hornby yeah. okay. and the book. All right. Thanks. Now, you're thinking. Well, now that we've gotten to Hornby Island, what are we going to do there? Well, we can look at the famous Hornby Island Dented Soup Can! <laughs> <laughs> Shown here at real size. Uh, no, no, it's, it's a gigantic. It was painted in 2012. The soup, the soup can is actually one of the island's fire water storage tanks. And uh, the an artist was... Uh, tasked with painting it because it had gotten really rusty and crappy looking and she was found she found it was absolutely impossible to make the stupid thing blend into the scenery so she just painted it uh, like a soup can out of a tribute to Andy Warhol uh, now obviously it's free to look at that but I'm gonna throw in a real can of Campbell's tomato soup for you so you can take over souvenir wow. and also calculate the cost will you dent it for me too I uh, you know, it might already come pre-dented. Uh, I don't think yeah. they take that much carrot save on. Only uh, if you don't catch it. 
Did, did it right. start as a dented soup can? Yeah, or? The, 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 the water tank was already dented. Is oh, it a regular right. can of tomato soup, or is it one of those fancy pre-dented ones? Yeah. <laughs> now, now I know what you're saying. <laughs> Wait. We're going up to Hornby Island, and we're going to look at the, de- the, the, uh, the, the giant soup can, but we're not going to Herring Fest at the annual Herring Ball dance? That's of what I was thinking. We are! Because they don't have the 2024 poster done yet, but there is a post on their website saying it's coming. Oh, boat tours are back. <laughs> yeah, Herring Fest 2024 exists, and this is going to be the 8th annual, annual Herring Fest. We're going to go to the Herring, the Hornby Island Art Show, take a sea life boat trip to watch Spawning Herring, watch a variety of depressing environmental films, uh, and then dance the night away at the Herring Ball. Uh, and it's going to be two tickets uh, to Herring Fest <laughs> and the ball, and which is all done by donation, but, you know you want to put in a good one great so, uh anyhow yeah, of course what do you think that it costs you to one go to miniature world go look at some burls go look at some rusty machinery get tetanus go to hornby island look at a bigger rustier thing than you know, all the rusty things you looked at and then uh go to look at a plaque and go to herring fest in the herring ball you forgot the can the, we, oh, we're gonna look the at big, the can that's the, that's the bigger rustier thing well Unlike Scandinavia, <laughs> our indigenous people developed fire, so they didn't need to bury the herring <laughs> <laughs> until it became edible. So, consider that. Okay. How do you explain roll mops? I okay. won't. So I all you shan't. have to do is tell right. me how much you think I spent on this and then maybe go a bit under. Sure, $212. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Gas and ferry, kids. Gas and ferry. Yeah. Gas and ferry. That's Plus a... Miniature World. Yeah. That's well, in downtown Victoria. Well, I'll tell you what. Ad- admission okay. for two to Miniature World is $19.95 each plus tax, $44.68. Okay, I guess a little high on that. All right. Uh, I estimated to drive all the way up to Port McNeil. About 50 bucks in gas for me. Okay. Uh, that's 460 kilometers, um, and it, I priced out at buck seventy-five a liter, so it's a bit high, but who knows what's going to happen. Obviously, it's free to go look at uh, an abandoned mine site. All of that <laughs> horrible stuff that you talked about, probably. Uh, uh, there, it's also free to go look at the Hornby uh, Unicotherium plaque. No. But do you know how much you have to be- pay for that book? Uh, from oh, I forgot their about the book. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. See, there's okay. the book and the ferry trip. Thirty-five dollars. Oh, okay. So you're adding thirty-five dollars to. No, $212? I want to stay with my two twelve. Okay. Well, the. Uh, but I'm guessing that the book costs thirty-five dollars. Uh, the book is. Uh, you are incredibly close. It's thirty-five thirty-one Canadian. For wow. The book and ship. Wow. Good job, Nelson. Exactsies. Nope. Exactsies. Call me then. Uh, right. Ferry to Denman Island, and uh, that's uh, and then Hornby Island. Uh, it is for two adults. Return eighty-five seventy. Pretty good deal, right? Yeah, with a car. With a car? With a car. Okay, so I'm over then, probably, right? No, 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 no. Okay, wait. You said it was like 212 bucks altogether, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to go over. Uh, a price of Campbell's soup, $2.19. <coughs> and tickets to the herring ball. Now, I, 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 it's literally all by donation. Right. Um, so, uh, $30 each for the boat ride. Okay. Which is a suggested donation. And $25 each for the ball, which is the suggested donation, mm-hmm. brings us to a total cost for your showdown of $327.88. Hooray! Woo! Woo! Think about all that fun you can have for less than 500 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fun. <laughs> the Herring Fest sounds great. Yeah. Look what you could have instead of groceries. <laughs> <laughs> And you get a car to sleep in. Well, you kind of get a grocery with it. Yeah, you get that one can of soup. The can of soup is the only thing that I guess was going to be cheaper. I thought you could still get those for like a dollar. No. No. If they're on sale. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, if you get the the dented, (laughs) they're already dented at the grocery store, they give you a deal. Does the world's largest burl have a gift shop where you can buy like small burls? No, no, it's just something, it's it's a charred burl in a parking lot. So I guess now the second largest burl does have a like a covering. I guess you've guessed. Is there is there more shame or is my shame complete? Now? Oh no, you had to listen to all of that. That was the punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't it wasn't it education? So well put together, Kathleen. And now I know about Chimera World or whatever that was. Oh, I had to. There's literally I had to write out a pronunciation guide after every single reference to it in my notes because I was like, I'll never remember this. I don't remember it now. Anyhow, Lucky you. Yeah. For now, though. Here's something that maybe people will enjoy a little bit more. A Commodore Hustle. 
Mimes yours? Yeah. Why do they have beards? The my mumverid don't need beards. They're out and proud. No, the very obvious actual knitted beards. Mm, I assume Graham did that. Graham? Yeah? Did you put beards on my unsettling gay sons? Yeah, so you can tell them apart like Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Do you think that I can't tell my own mimes apart? Yes. Yeah, and you're right. Thank you for the beards. Can't figure out where your trash is supposed to go? Something like that. This bin has a returnable, but also some random plastic? This one's almost all plastic, but also a ceramic mug from our cupboard. This one's mostly paper, but also has glass bottles. And I think this used to be salad. But this one's my favorite. It has coffee grounds, a ham end, a picture of James, and a hard drive containing most of season one. Wow. Yep. Can't believe anybody would throw away our perfectly good piss mug. Forget about piss mug. How? It's unforgettable. We are dealing with bin anarchy. Bin anarchy! Oh, I've been putting my bin anarchy peels in whichever bin is the fullest. The full ones get picked up faster. I don't want fruit flies. I am going to come up with a system for the bins. Great. There will be spots for everything. Sure. It will be impossible to mess up. Uh-huh. Unless there's active malfeasance. That sounds like us. Yeah, the system makes no sense. I had assumed that everyone would just infer the new bin sorting system. Based on what prior evidence? I don't know. Hope? Oh, we don't have a bin for that. Unless it's medical waste, because I've been putting medical waste in with the compost. What? Bodily fluids decompose, Bish. You can't dispose of medical waste like that. That doesn't belong in any of these bins. None? None. Has anyone told Ian? Today on Tinker Tailor Solder Fry, we'll be extracting nitrogen triiodide from common table salt. So grab your iPro and be sure to have plenty of Bactine on hand. I am going to come up with another new system for the bins. That sounds great, Beige. While you're doing that, can we have a bin just for ichor? Because I keep seeing this stuff in with the paper and the ham, and even I know that's not right. Hey, you think I can bank this through the door and into one of those bins? Yeah. Ha! Jesus! What are you doing? Soiled paper does not go in that bin. Oh, could you please use a different word? Soiled paper does not go in that receptacle? No, not bin. So soil hall. Yeah, it's got a terrible mouthfeel. Befouled paper is unacceptable. Well, befouled makes it sound like it's something I did on purpose. Any paper that has been made greasy, slimy, sticky, moist, or otherwise infilthened by foodstuffs will not be accepted. Jesus, Beach, what kind of food do you think we eat? Food that is greasy, slimy, sticky, moist, and filthy. Only as a treat. Treats are supposed to be a sometimes food. I ate a vegetable today. Technically an apple's a fruit, and that was a fritter. And you put its bag into the paper bin. Because the bag is made of paper. After you stuffed it, in a glass bottle. I saw all the bins and panicked. I watched you fold it up. It took you five minutes. Yes, sustained panic. I'm exhausted. That's okay.
They're color coded. Yes, there are colors. And do those colors suggest anything to you? Well, blue is plastic because we're protecting the sea. Okay. And green is plants. Yes. So that's paper because it's made from trees. Ah. Uh. And red is fire. So that's where we put our inflammables. In what sense of that word? The usual one? Thank you. This has been educational. Hey, why is the piss mug with the icker? After extensive testing, I'm pleased to announce that this is our new recycling system. This bin is for returnables, and every month I'll spend two hours sorting it and taking it to the bottle depot, where I'll receive somewhere between $9 and $11, after which I'll question the logic of spending my time to do that, but I ultimately will keep doing it anyway. And this bin is for paper. This concludes my presentation on the new recycling system. Any questions? Um, even the... Even your intentionally foul paper, yes. Oh, and that bin is for everything else. That's it. So you put in all that work and you're just throwing it away? Well, I was taking our meticulously sorted recycling out to the dumpsters, and then I realized the waste contractors that service this building only take paper recycling and garbage, so there was nowhere for me to empty my bins. Wait, really? No, Waste Really, Incorporated. They're local. Very cheap, possibly a front. I decided not to ask. Well, if you need a contract breached, I have been legally advised that I am very good at it. No can do. The building's contract is somehow perpetual, and I'm given the impression it would be a bad idea to try to break it. Who told you that? The owner, Gareth Waste. Really? Correct. Maybe it's nominative determinism, or maybe he thought he's just being cute. But either way, he's a real scary guy, and he's got a bigger landlord's friend than I do. Hold up, is he actually a landlord? Because if he ain't, that's stolen valor. I am going to look at the upsides of this. This is less mental load on us, and we probably don't need any of Beach's labels. Sucks not to recycle, though. Well, I'll probably just recycle paper here with waste, really, and then I'll take the rest of the trash to a facility that sorts the recyclables and the compost. That's awfully good of you. Yeah, sounds like a pain in the ass. Uh, I wouldn't want anyone thinking we're bad people, even if we are thinly fictionalized self-inserts who are canonically bad people. Hey, now that we've reached a consensus and we're all here anyway, I think now might be a good time to discuss policy and procedure around our friend the dishwasher! Oh, come on! That chair wasn't even here! Hey, hey, check it out. I'm Graham. I'm Ian, and Gundam Wing was an unparalleled masterpiece. I'm just happy to be included. Don't push it. Hi. We, th we thought it'd be fun to do another one of our famous improv maelstroms, which previously we have broadcasted from such exotic locales as Medieval Castle or abandoned desert island. But today, we bring you an improv maelstrom direct from the Loading Ready Run moon base. <laughs> Our first game, as we take an improv maelstrom through the holidays, is going to be a game of change which means that our improvisers are going to go through a scene uh, and the scene is going to be about Christmas. And then when I feel like making them do something else, I'm going to say, change, and then they change it. It's pretty straightforward. It'll be great. So let's begin with our first game. It's Christmas. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Santa, you look so young this year. Yes, change. Well, <laughs> Santa, I find you weirdly attractive. Yes, well, I've been slimming down, you see. It's real good. Yeah, oh, thank you, good, thank yeah. you. Uh, I'll level with you. Yeah? I know I shouldn't be here, but I always leave the presents for the kids and then ditch, and I don't get to see their happy faces. So sure. I, I, you're my test child. Okay. And I figured I'd gauge your reaction to how good these new presents are. 
Santa, I'm like 15 years old. Yeah. Should this have stopped? But for, for some parents, that's still a child. Fair, yeah. That's not actually not fair at all. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, well let's get open I'll it. I'll open, I'll open a gift. And I'll um, sit in this chair. Change. Oh. And I'll stand over you menacingly. Change. And I'll leave. Change. <laughs> and I'll help you open it. Hey, thank you. All right. Okay, all right. This one has my, this one's for me, right? Yeah. It's not for like they're all. Other... They're all for you. They're all, oh, they're all for me. Yeah, you're the test child. Oh, right, yes. Dear you, oh. what's going on? Oh, I didn't expect to see you here today. Ah, uh, yeah. Nega Claus, it's you. Yes, I'm here to take the presents. Yes, we're away. trying a new thing, you see, where I give the presents and then the Nega Claus takes them away. We're also gauging that how the children enjoy that. I don't like it at all. Well, I just want some gifts. It, you shouldn't. You shouldn't worry. It's for charity. Change. Oh. It's for capitalism. Oh, nobody likes capitalism. Change. Well, Everybody loves capitalism! <laughs> what a relief. Oh, well, open at least one present. Yes. All right, so, ooh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a dump truck. Ooh, yes, 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 yeah. You know why? Why? Because capitalism is garbage. Yes, all right. Yes. Well, I guess, I, do I get to keep this? No, that oh. would go for at least $30 all right. towards the fun. Okay, well. I'll open this one. Oh, cool! It's it's a uh, it's a tiny dollhouse I can keep all of my little ponies in. Change. It's a little dollhouse that I can keep all of my action figures in. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I hate to do this to you. Change. Well, I'm so stoked I'm gonna do this. I... We're both Nega Claus. No. See you later, idiots. <laughs> Christmas is horrible now. To capitalism. These ones too. Yeah. <laughs> if only I kept the love of Jesus in my heart. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I just let it stay on. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, all right, let's see what Peach does with this. I was kind of open. Yeah, uh, I, I thought about it. Uh, all right, next up on our adventure through the holidays, we're going to play a game of Emo Roco, which is the emotional roller coaster. That's how that's pronounced. And uh, th this, this game is set on Boxing Day. So we'll just have, have you all start the scene, and then I will... This time I'll actually ding. I realized dinging and telling change was weird, but I'll, this time I'll ding and I'll change into different emotional states provided earlier today by people on the Loading Ready Run Discord, whom I asked for movie genres first and then realized I was incorrect. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hello. I'd like to return this parrot. It, it's fine. It's fine. The okay. parrot is fine. Because I've been getting a lot of the other. I think people think they're being cute. They think probably are keeping them boxes. They don't know how this works. All right. It's, well. it's just the wrong color. I'd like something more blue. Oh. Invigorated. I really just love the blue colors. I, I can't I stand like the, the green. blue ones, too. They're so good. This it's is like, real. It's a cute. This is a cute green it's bird, a, though. But I want blue. You want, I, want I know. A, yeah, right. I want it to like, match cute. like my everything. Oh, you're so cute, though. Yeah, oh, my God. But, I have no problem with taking this back and changing it for a blue good, one. Good. We have thousands of parrots in the warehouse. Oh, They're just flying around shitting on great. stuff. Great. It's wanna... so good. Do you want to look at the parrots? Yeah. yeah. All right, here. Hang on. Hold, you, you hold on this okay. one. Come, come, behind the, come behind the thing with me. Yeah, All right, let's go. We'll just we'll just go into the warehouse. We'll just go to the warehouse. All right. Holy! Look at the parrots! So many parrots! They're, They're everywhere. Is that tense? Why are you here? I taught it to speak, and now it's smarter than I am. Why have you entered my lair? I'm really not into this. Okay. Um, he, he, he brought in this green parrot, yeah. and he wants to trade it for a blue one. But you're really big, and I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. Hangry. Like, well then, if you want me to change it and give you another one of my kin, I'm going to have to eat at least one of you. Hold on a second! I've got a better idea. Actually, go ahead then. I don't think I can eat that much. Really? Yeah. I could probably eat about that much. Wow! Feel better. Just vibing. 
It's good. Damn. Tight taste, man. Damn. It's you know I have some feet left. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah, I baked these this morning. This is the, ooh, mm. it's good. Is that like you? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I can. I, I can get into yeah, that. Let's, yeah. just, let's just chill. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's good. good. Can it's a wing. Yeah. Hey, you got yeah. nice wings. Uh, can you like yeah. take us for a ride? That's mm. <laughs> well, I could, but then he bit my arm off. Yeah, yeah no, what? it's wing. Did you really just? No, I want to go for a ride. I mean, it's, but it's, it's fine though. I could probably do it on one. One wing? Yeah. Oh, oh you are my one winged angel. Oh, oh good. Can yeah, we get a snack? We can get a snack later. Yeah. No, we got a snack now. Oh, well, let's eat the yeah, snack. Give then. it a try. All right. Let's. Oh, Exuberant. Yeah! Oh my God! I'm super into this. Oh. Isn't that great? It's been marinating for years. Eat some of this. It's so oh. tender. I don't want to even fly anymore, man. Oh, oh geez, oh. I just want to eat the rest of you. Oh. But if I do, I'll regret it later. Oh my God! We need to keep you around. Are there more like you? Yeah. Yeah? Hold on, I'll go get my friend. He's blue. Oh. Nice. I can't wait. I'm blue! I believe you! I'm gonna eat that! Alright! <laughs> What you just saw was uh, the the folks acting out a traditional Boxing Day. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just how that that's just how Boxing Day is in Canada. A lot of people don't know that because you know statistically most of you are from the states. And finally, it's time for a uh, time for some album review, and to round out the holidays, we're going to set this one on New Year's. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the rock song, "Break Out the Champagne." Whichever one of you wants to go first. Break out the champagne, let's pop some corks. I know you drink, cause you're not a dork. <laughs> we age it in barrels. We age it in bottles. We age it in skulls. And throttles. Yeah! Break out the champagne. It's bubbly. Break out the champagne. It's not fumbly because if you drop it, that's a party foul. And you know you can't deal with the party fouls because if that happens, we're gonna kick you out and you won't get any champagne or any rum or any beer or any vodka or anything else that is carbonated or is not because it won't be for you to drink. Woo! That was delightful. And also available on this album is the ballad I hope I can stay up till midnight. Well, it's that time again, the end of the year. But there is always one thing that I fear. Will I make it to the end this time? Will I hear the clock strike 12 and kiss on the dime? Nope, I'm over 30. I just want to go to bed. Hell yeah. Nope, I'm over 30. I just want to lay my head on down to my pillow Beside my loyal dog You think it might be my partner, but she's a blanket hog I'm not staying up to midnight, no, no I'm not staying up to midnight, okay? Okay. 
Looking forward to sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it's everyone's favorite New Year's folk song, New Year, New Me. New years, new beers, new fears, new tears. I can't be what I used to be. I can't stop thinking. But in the new year, I'm going to try a new thing Then give it up right away I'm gonna sing my truth to the world In the new year I'm gonna bring my truth and then probably stop Cause it's a new year New year A new me A new me Something Will Happen Cause it's a new year New me New things To be And I Will probably give up But Not for a while at least a week or two maybe a couple days we'll see how good i can do new year new me trying to be a better person this year new year new me trying to be a better person this year but only for a little while <laughs> that was spectacular <laughs> great job everybody oh i'm sorry good job <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Well, hey, that was the Improv Maelstrom. But another thing that we frequently do on episodes of Loading Ready Live is a cheeky little pre-recorded segment. So we're going to throw back to one of our favorites with a festive twist. Take it away. Hi there. You might recall one of our favorite Loading Ready Live pre-recorded segments, and hopefully you enjoyed it too, the egg drop. So we have reunited our two teams of two and decided to give it a holiday twist with the eggnog drop. What? Before, we had an egg in a basket with balloons, and we won. So, hey, Wheeler, can you rotate? I can't see what you're pointing at. <sighs> okay, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, back to Graham. Thanks. Okay. This time, we have nog which will fall through the basket, and that's not oh, sorry, great. Wheeler, Wheeler, one, one more time. Uh, what, what did you draw? I drew, I drew Nog, Serge. I drew Nog. Okay, yeah, great. Back, back to Graham, thanks. Okay. okay, the drone is charged. Right. Can it hold two kilograms? Not by itself, but remember that scene in Star Wars Episode Two? Yeah, okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 with yeah. the little liquid. Like, yeah. yeah, okay. Now the Nagashi Soman tube is that going to work out for us? Uh, I don't know if I can source it. Uh, let me check the math on that here. I don't know what we're going to do about this? We can just pour it. But then how are we going to catch it? Uh. Hey. Hey. Recently, they developed a new idea. It's called a glass. And if we fill the glass with egg and nog, then pour it out the large height onto Surge. Sorry. We'll win. What? Go back to the diagram? Or we'll win again. It's the easiest plan and, well, frankly, it's the best plan. It, we're, it, we're, it's eggnog out a window. It's. It's eggnog out a window. Hello? 
Beej, I need you to hold this, and Serge, I need you to trust me, okay? It's gonna be okay, babe. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, no, you're doing great, honey. You're doing great. Can I breathe? Just breathe. Well, you know, breathing's overrated. Well, we're stuck here on the second floor, and we've got uh, the boys outside. Mm -hmm. We're excited to drop some nog on some nog in the noggins, the head. Thunk, thunk. Okay, well, who's, who's set up and ready to go there? Uh, is Beej on an iPad? No, last I saw him. At search. Okay, at search. well then I think you're about to uh, take a chance on dropping some nog. There's nothing more I'd like to do this holiday season. And drop some eggnog on Surge. I, I, I guess I get closer to the camera. Uh... One for me. And one for Surge. I tried to avoid the eyes. Hey, I'm fine. Hey, right on. No. Oh. Nothing happened to Surge. Oh, I mean, easy to explain. He's an hour ahead. Oh, okay. My turn now. Right. Gotta make sure the nutmeg is all properly distributed. Here we go. Ugh. After seeing that, I also decided to wrap myself in plastic. All right. All right, in position. Let's three, two, one. Let's nog. I think I got some in my mouth. Hey, what the hell was that? Uh, just the season? Wouldn't be the holidays if they weren't ruined. Yeah. Cheers. I'm gonna get a glass. Oh, jeez. Drinky, drinky, Surge! Oh, I, don't no, I don't even like eggnog. It did a number. I mean, I didn't expect it. We should have stuffed it before the, yeah. I wore a polyester shirt for a reason today. <laughs> so this comes out clean. How, how'd it go? I got some in my mouth. I, I can see some on your face. I also got some down my chest. Hey! Yeah, so that's good. Take care of the hair or put hair on the chest? I'm hoping it's going to be the world's weirdest moisturizer. Either way, we'll find out in a few weeks. Yeah. Hi again. I've been having a blast this evening looking through and revisiting some of the classic bits from previous episodes of Loading Ready Live. And one of the ones that, I mean, I know everyone here loves it. I can't count how many times we've done it. That's right, it's time for Baloney Darts. Let me send it over to the referee responsible. It's Darts Baloney. Take it away. Thank you very much, Graham. Uh, welcome everybody to Baloney Darts. Uh, we've done this so many so many times, so I've lost count how many times we've done this bit. Uh, very, very excited uh, to welcome a inaugural uh, uh, tournament here on this side of the studio. Cameron is a, an expert at baloney darts, but you might not understand. This might be your first time that you've ever seen it. Uh, so this is how it's going to work. We've got a, a pile of baloney, and we have this nice target board over here. We even have a great little angle for you all to see exactly where the baloney is going to land. As you can see here, we've got the uh, the middle ring, we've got the blue ring, and the black ring. So anything outside for where the baloney lands is going to be one point. Anything within is going to be two, then three then four if you get it in, and we've even said that if you get it smack dab in the middle, that's worth a five. And because we're nice and we want everybody to win, uh, everything's gonna be positively scaled. We're gonna go from the inside. So as long as you get it within, you're gonna get that point. Uh, and then we're just gonna see who gets the most as usual. So Cameron, you're our first competitor. Do you have anything you wanna say to the audience? I'm just thrilled to be participating. I have been training at throwing baloney for many decades now, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm hoping to improve. Happy to be invited. Very excited to have you. Well, grab your feast piece, first piece of loney. It's right behind you. Ah, <laughs> uh, magazine fed. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you get three throws. 
From behind that line. From behind that line. There you go. Great. I can hang on to the magazine if you want. It's fine. No, you're good? Okay, great. Uh, all right. Uh, please don't hit me. Well, on the bright side, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be on it, so that's outside the rings. That's one point for Cameron. <laughs> one point. <laughs> Throw two. <laughs> I beg of you to try. <laughs> Amy. Damn. Can we, go, can we go to the wide shot? Can we I see We can't that see that one. Oh, no, it's right there. <laughs> this one's a little on the outside here. Well, uh, there we go. Great. All right, throw, throw. <laughs> hey! Hey! That's so, four points. That's four points right there. So we're looking at a grand total of six points. Six points is the number to beat. Great job, Cameron. Let me take that from you. Good job. Somebody can, somebody go find that loney. There's one right there. No, 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 okay. Sure, great, thanks. We're good. <laughs> All right, good. We, we didn't we didn't consider. Do we count where it no. where the smear originally hit or where it like slid to? <laughs> Definitely where it slides to. It's where, where you play it, you play it where it lays. Uh, all right, up next we got our competitor, Kathleen. Kathleen, you got anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, I want to say that I've been training really hard for this, uh, and uh, you know I feel like bologna is a slightly maligned meat. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. It's like, what if you had a hot dog instead of being a long tube, it was a wide cylinder? Hmm. It's the same principle. Yes, yeah, pretty much. It's just a slurry. Throw one. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's still a point. <laughs> there you go, I mean, great. Maybe I, I should have taken him out of the package. You want, no, you want to sort of like frisbee it. Throw two. Funny enough, that's worth still as much as it was in on the floor. <laughs> Just barely not touching that line. So greasy. Ooh. All right. Juicy. Third and final throw. <laughs> oh! <laughs> unfortunately, it didn't stick. It's where it lays, but that's within. So that's a three pointer. Five points for Kathleen. Yay! I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> oh, here. I'll, uh, oh, thanks. The Zamboni's gonna come out. <laughs> the Zamboni. The Zamboni. The Zamboni. The Zamboni. The Zamboni. <laughs> All right, we got a third competitor, Corey. Woo. How you feeling? It's nervous. This is my first time. Oh yeah, I'm well, a big welcome. fan, but <laughs> you've been oh, watching the circuit for a while. Yes. Oh. All right. First throw. <laughs> Ooh, slightly over. Nearly hit the camera. Alright, I'm sensing a running theme. Perhaps the line should have been closer. The camera isn't quite as protected as we thought it might be. Yeah, alright. Throw two. Oh, <laughs> just short. short. Oh. Will the third one hit? <laughs> We're sensing a pattern. Corey, 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 Corey. No! <laughs> Why? All right, well, that's three points for Corey. Cameron, did you expect to be the reigning champion? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you got to come in with that attitude. Yeah. All right, fourth competitor. We got Ian Horner. Oh, clogged art, uh, moist eyes, can't lose. Uh, I want to say Jesus is on my side, but he has no business being here right now when he said to eat of my flesh. <laughs> you have to, uh, you have, wait, were you confirmed? <laughs> uh, not fully. Oh, oh, you grabbed all your three? Yeah, I gotta get oh, all three. Look at that. All, right. all right. This is a trained professional. All right, first throw. Oh! That's okay, two. Okay, okay. Which start? I'm gonna give that to you. That's two points. Second throw. They list to the left, so I'm gonna uh, correct here. <laughs> By sailing completely over it. Completely over. All right, all right. All right. That's okay. Third's the charm. All right, a little bit lower. Hit the Lego. Oh! So that gives you a grand total of four plus two. That's six and to seven. 
Ian is now in the lead with seven points as our reigning champion. All right. All right, let me. The host with the most, oh. Graham Stark, anything you want to say to the audience? I'm going to do my best. Thanks for listening. Oh, God, there we go. All right. All right. Get it on. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh! Six three pointer right at the gate. Oh! I just want to sail it on through. You're already you're already gonna lead. This is this is this is putting the, this is gilding the ham. Unprecedented! Oh! 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 Wow! Well, looks like uh, Graham is now in the lead with a roaring uh, four four eight three. You got eleven points, my friend. <laughs> woo woo! 11 points. Baloney darts. That's it. And so we saved the best for last. Graham Stark is the concurrent <laughs> <laughs> baloney darts champion. Let us hear it in Twitch chat. Thank Woo. you very, very much. It's Thank been you. Another great year. Thank you. We'll see y'all next year. Thank you, everybody. Now. Viewers at home hate when we waste food, mm -hmm. uh, which is why it is time to uh, run this directly into uh, a returning edition of Bee Gees, the whole thing. Hey. Uh, no, no, the of the bologna. But that's not like a balanced meal. Not the bologna that fell on the floor. Oh, I nice. kept that separate. The uh, floroni. Only the bologna that landed on the uh, the previously disinfected right. sheet of Lexan. But that's not like a balanced diet. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the bologna Cucumber. around a zucchini because oh. Beej hates zucchini. And he told us that. Uh, I don't know why. In error. I told you yeah. that in, in strict confidence and clearly error. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't think that would come back to haunt you yeah, in some way. I told you three months ago. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty haunted myself, actually, wrapping the bologna around this. I'm going to need to wash my hands. It's so slippy. Remember to peel the zucchini, Beach. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Is it a finger food? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I... Okay. Great. You have fun with that. Okay. Go I for will. it. We'll check back in with Beej. Never. <laughs> that has 140% of your daily intake of sodium. Oh, I can feel it. Meanwhile, over here, it's time for the return of tonsil hockey! <laughs> But this time it's tonsil hockey doubles. So we've got two teams of two facing off with some freshly constructed tonsil hockey uh, accessories. Thanks, Alex, for putting these together today. Mm. These ones are made of solid oak. Cool. Um, yeah, take it away. It's, are you still darts baloney? Sure. Great, take it away. <laughs> hey, it's really great to be guesting here over at Class Canagro Stadium. Uh, all right, we've got a doubles tournament going on here. We've got Corey. And Cameron, do you have a team name? Yeah, I, yeah, I burst that out on no, you. No, it's yeah. the sound of silence. Oh, yes, mm. yeah. Oh, right. Pronounce it's, that one. Pronounce the period. Yeah. yeah. Right, 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 right. And, of course, we got Nelson and Ian on this side. You want to be the Sadine twins? I think we can be the Sadine twins here. The Sadine twins. All right. So, uh, we're going to go till I say so. The goal, the goal <laughs> is to get... This little yellow into the opposing team's hole. I mean, I'm not playing with my usual partner right now, so I should probably use some protection here against uh, anything that's going on. Now, if you've never seen this before, but you probably get it from the name, tonsil hockey means that these sticks will not be in their hands. As you can see, <laughs> they will be in the mouth, which is why Ian is using this six-year expired condom. It's a pro phylactic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's it's unlubricated. It's unlubricated. And it was purchased for protecting microphones from the rain. Hmm. All right, I want a good, clean game, everyone. <laughs> Please don't bonk your heads. Come on, bonk. <laughs> oh, it's intense. Oh. 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 It's so hard to track what's going on. Oh! That's a goal for the Ian twins. I've been from the behind. That's zero. This is zero. Wait, so you have, all right, yeah, one to zero. Yeah. Right. 
All right. Line it up. Oh, that's a, that's an out of bounds infraction committed by uh, Ian of the two Ians. Uh, that means it's a penalty shot for the sound of silence. Do we got goalie? No. Oh uh, yeah, one goalie, one goalie. Got that one. <laughs> All right, it's one one. We'll get him in the third period. This is, this is intense tonsil it, hockey action. It's some of the most intense tonsil hockey I've ever seen. Tonsil hockey, one of the games. Oh, oh. Very close. one of the games with the least trash talk. Oh. Oh. It's a goal for the sound of silence. Did you see it? I didn't. Get us all. Get us all. All right. Hold on. Wait. Wait. How did you do that twice? Hold on. Oh. Hi. Low. <laughs> Pickle. No. Hi. Low. Pickle. Low. What made that even better is the fact that because camera is back to the camera, you saw none of it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh! Another goal for the sound of silence. They are running away with this game at three to one. Okay, I'll take goal. All right. We'll go off front crawl. Sounds good. Okay. Oh. Looks like we have some strategy going there from the Sadian twins. That's a very funny Canucks reference for those who don't know. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, is it, says Ian. Oh, oh, no! oh! The sound of silence is running away. They're referencing the Canucks in more than one way. <laughs> Guys, maybe trade sides. After a little order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the period one. Everybody shake hands on your way around. Oh. Yeah, over there. Right, yeah. Now, this is a game that goes to five, so if the Sound of Silence gets another goal, that's the end. Cameron is very aggressive on the uh, face-offs. Especially after a oh! 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 stellar goal from Nelson. Oh. The Ian twins are not out of this yet. It is four to two. And they're showing fortitude. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, oh that's an out-of-bounds infraction by the Ians. That's a penalty shot. This could be the end of it. What? Uh, All right, game on. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> oh, it's stuck in the corner. Uh, this is a great viewing experience. <laughs> this is all so, oh, 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 that was that was so close. Oh, oh, stop it there. Oh, oh that was almost an own goal. Oh. This has to be the professional sport with the least amount of uh, on the field trash talk. <laughs> oh, oh. A lot of aggressive oh. grunting, though. Oh, that was so close. That's Excellent save shot. from Corey Nelson. there. Nelson is putting on a lot of offense right now. He's really trying to pressure the sound of silence in their own uh, whatever the side of the board is called, I guess. Zone. Oh! oh. oh. Good game, 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 good game,
And on that tremendous victory, we've come to the end of another episode of Loading Ready Live. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening for whatever this was. And now, this. How's it going? Great. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a good show. Mm. Did you know that was our 100th show, 100th live we've done? No kidding. Really? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. At some point, we should do something to commemorate that. Om noms. <laughs>